what's up? It's Lacey and welcome back to my kitchen. It's not often I film in here, but uh, it's been about seven months since I did the backsplash video and there has been so many questions and a lot of you guys want to see how it's doing now. There were actually a lot of questions that had been repeated over and over so I wanted to make a video. So not only could you guys see with your own eyes, but hopefully I can answer some of your questions if you're hesitant about putting up the peel and stick backsplash tile. One of the most frequently asked questions is how do I wash them? And I clean mine with a wet cloth and some mild soap. So they just clean right off. They're, they're stuck on there so when you wash them, and when you're cleaning them, they're not gonna move and they're not gonna come off and they're not gonna lift. Which brings me to the next question. Are they peeling? How are they holding up? And let me tell you guys something that I learned from doing this. Make sure that you take all the caulking from the top of your counter off and make sure that it's straight and you have a very clean slate because that's one thing that I didn't do with mine that I wish I would have. Where the caulking is really thick, they are starting to lift up a little bit, but that's only because I didn't go in and remove that caulking before putting the tiles down. But I have a hack for that. So if they are starting to lift and peel, just take some E6000 glue, put them on the tile and stick them back down and you're good to go. They're not gonna lift, they're not gonna peel as long as you have that E6000 glue that ensure that it's not gonna go anywhere. And that still looks better than what was here before. Are they apartment friendly? Um, personally, I wouldn't trust them in the department because they are so strong that it will rip off your paint and maybe even the first layer of your wall. Um, someone in the comments had said that you could put like a protective layer on first and then put the backsplash on top of that. So like a wallpaper could be your protective layer and then put the peel and stick backsplash on top of that and then maybe use like wallpaper glue or some sort of glue that's not gonna ruin your walls. I know in the apartments that I lived in, I always painted. I just made sure that I painted it back to what it was before I moved in there. I mean, if it's somewhere you're gonna stay a while, I don't see why not. But you can always remove them and paint and fix up the walls. It's up to how much time, money, and effort you wanna put into your apartment. Another question was, can you put them on tile? And you can put these on top of existing tile. So don't be freaked out and think that you have to remove your tile first and then put them on. It'd be better to put them on on top of your tile. Was the heat from the stove, they affect it. I haven't had any problems at all whatsoever with the heat from my stove affecting my backsplash. There's no lifting and peeling over in that area, but I don't have a problem with the walls getting hot. How many sheets did I order? I want to say, I went back and looked at my Amazon receipt and I had purchased like $200 worth of tile. My kitchen's pretty large. I have like almost 200 square feet of backsplash area and each sheet's 10 by 10 and then there were six sheets in each box. So I purchased about eight boxes and that equaled up to be about $200. But my backsplash is a lot larger than 10 inches, so I had to use two, or like one and a half. I don't think that's a very bad deal at all. So anyways, I hope this answered all of your guys' questions. If you guys have any other questions or concerns or comments or anything, let me know down below, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Subscribe for more videos and DIY projects. I love to make stuff and share them with you guys for inspiration. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.